Yeah. <laughs> Catch some big fish, baby. What's going on, everybody? It is Wednesday of Hurricane Week. We got an Idalia or Idalia, whatever it's called, was supposed to hit us today, which uh, we were very, very fortunate. We were supposed to get it a lot worse than what we got, uh, but it shifted to the west uh, during the night, and all we got pretty much was just some light wind, um, a few branches that hit the ground, but no trees are over, nothing like that. So hopefully you guys are safe wherever you are. Uh, and made it through. <clears throat> Prayers to all those on the, the west coast, especially up there in the Big Bend area. A lot of times where I fish at, they got hit pretty hard. Um, but uh, coming at you with another video today. Um, as you're gonna see, I think we got an issue with a certain type of fish. And I'll just let y'all watch it. Y'all catch it from there. Was not targeting these fish all day long. Did not want to catch these, but this is just what was over and over and over and over. And there were so many that I saw in the water that I didn't even put on in this video because it was so long anyway. So hopefully you enjoy, but uh, let's get after it. That was quite the interesting launch. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh man, those waves had to be probably two feet-ish. Um, off that beach and whenever I tried to launch that one second I got a little blood on my leg there but uh, we're gonna get some water on these reels although you know spin fisher is completely sealed what we like about it big reason why I got it they are completely sealed rigs but uh, it did get some salt water on it and so I want to rinse that off a little bit start reeling like crazy but I got this little pompano jig right here to start out. And uh, these things catch anything from Spanish mackerel to pompano, obviously. Uh, I've seen people catch sheep's head, mangrove snapper, but I, I know a lot of people catch uh, ladyfish off of these things. So that's what we're going with. Got a beautiful sunrise, bit of a breezy morning, but we're gonna toss this thing around, see if we can't get a ladyfish. We can hook up the saltex back there. Got something. <laughs> a little bitty whiting came up and grabbed it. All right, that's not what we want. That's something else here. What do we? Oops, pulling a little bit better. Hopefully, it's not a kitty cat. Oh no, it's decent sized whiting, actually. Let's, uh, this is interesting. Catching whiting off the jig. I'll let you go. I promise. He's skinny. Whoa, there he goes. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Well, that's interesting. That's two fish. Just not what we're looking for. We're look, looking for some ladyfish. Got something on the live bait. I did. Hopefully. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got that's what we wanted. Come on, baby. Where are you? Oh, no. That's not what we wanted. <sighs> it's a shark. Dang it, I thought it was a lady fish. Please don't cut me off. Dude. I got excited when I came, uh, he came up and I saw that long body. Just tore up the rig. All right, we're hooked up on something. Hopefully this is our lady fish. This is off the, uh, I just put a mullet on back there behind the boat, just dragging it around on the troll. It's taking pretty good drag. Of course, I got it super loose right now. Tighten it up a little bit. Come on, be a lady. Dutton, I wouldn't put my bed on a lady just because it's not jumping at all. Oh, 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 he's pulling hard. I'll loosen up a little bit on you, bud. Yeah, come on up. Oh, it's a bigger shark. And I've got, I got nothing but, I think I got 20 pound mono hooked onto that hook. It's like a 2OJ hook or something like that. Um, so. Rig, I'm gonna be tying up right there, but. Oh, yep, well. There was that. I took off the jig on my casting rod just because I keep having good marks and stuff, and I wouldn't catch anything on the jig. So we're gonna try just a little fish bites curly tail right here on a uh, Bass Pro, I think this is a eighth ounce uh, jig head. And we're just gonna, since we're gonna tie on a new rig right here, we're just gonna throw this guy out the side right there. And we're 
gonna let him drag around the back and while we tie up this new rig and then we'll get back to casting him and jigging him and stuff like that but let's just see what happens hopefully we don't get another shark we've had two sharks so far all right got another little finger mullet right here a couple split shots onto that same 20 pound uh fluoro or mono leader i'm gonna toss that guy right out there and just let him kind of sink down for a few seconds we are a little bit deeper water now we're in 20 foot of water roughly 19 20 feet still showing some good bait and stuff so i'm gonna let this guy get right on out there so we're gonna set that drag pretty loose we can take it and run with it all right we got something off the troll with the mullet back there let's see what we got oh hopefully he's still on there oh yeah don't be a shark don't be a shark no shark no shark fight coming up bond head oh no is he a true hammer Hey, 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 hey. Semi bud. Got him in the head. No, if that's a. That looks like it's a true hammerhead. If that's a true hammerhead, that's my first hammerhead I've ever caught. Which is super cool. He's a little guy, but man, look at him. That is wild. That's super cool because he doesn't have like the real small, narrow shovel head like a bonnet head, so I think that's a true hammerhead. Alright, bud. <laughs> There are a lot of birds. They're probably a mile that direction that are diving. You got one diving over here. I would love to start seeing some school. Oh, there, oh. that looked like Bonita or, oh, that's a dolphin. If I start seeing some fish blow up through there, I'm gonna go. You know what, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and make our way over there. That is a dolphin, but uh, we're gonna give something a shot. Maybe there's something we can catch over there right, sending down some live bait i'm marking some good water here 27 foot of water sending down some live bait see if we can't tie something there we go we're on something good gosh what is that oh my something big coming up don't be a shark don't be a shark. The thing about this fishing with mullet and oh, we're about 10 feet away. Oh, it is a big shark. It's a big shark. That's all it is. Oh, it's Atlantic sharp nose. It's a good size Atlantic sharp nose, but it is an Atlantic sharp nose. Hey, bud, I'll let you go if you just come on up here right nice and easy like. Hey, hey. Grab him. Unfortunately, I've only got 20 pound test right here, so I don't want to do too bad. Just gotta go for it. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. Oh gosh! Hey, you chill out. Well, we're gonna see right there. You can see he's probably three and a half feet. That's a good size Atlantic sharp nose. That's about they get a little bit bigger than this, but that's a good one. See him right there. But uh, let's get him back and get another fish on. All right, thanks for the catch, bud. I got something big back here. Dude, he hit that thing and took off, off the bottom. I don't know what it is, but man, he took off. He is moving. Um, we gotta try to get this rod back there. Man, we got this school of fish right here, so there ain't no telling what this is. Had both those little mud minnows on it. Um, man, he took off really hard oh man do you see that there's a brown cloud right there and that's where all the fish are hitting oh, this is a heavy heavy fish right here heavy heavy fish stay with me big boy stay with me <laughs> this is so much fun catching these bigger fish like this off of light action rods this is not the goal of today but it's still pretty early it's almost nine o'clock come on baby come on 10 feet out now. He's 10 feet out. Oh, it looks long and sharkish. 
looks like a like a, probably a five or six foot shark though man it looks like a shark i don't know if you guys can see them down there but it 100 percent. oh yeah it's a big old big old something well this is um by far the biggest shark in the kayak man this big old shark ate that, ooh, that those little bitty mud mullets Oh! All right, bud, come on up. All right, hit the bottom hook. It looks, oh, he's hooked in the fin. We might be able to get this off of you real quick, like, bud. Hey, hey. Uh -uh, uh -uh. My stinking. <sighs> My hook getters got caught. All right, we got all kinds of fish and birds working up in front of us. Got a guy over here. He's got something on. Him. Gosh, I think it's just a lot of bait right through here. So, man, look at the bait underneath me. It's such a solid. Holy crap! It's such a solid wall of bait that it's registering his bottom. Look at it. Holy moly! The depth foot. It says I'm in nine foot of water. That's how thick the bay is. That's wild. All right, I got something. Oh my God. Is that a pokey? It is a pokey. All right. Well, we're gonna throw him in a live well. <laughs> Pogey. This one though, it's fighting hard. All right, we got like a 7 0 hook right here. I'm gonna put one of these big old pogies we just had on right there. Just open up his mouth, hook him right through that hard part of his nose. Right there, I'm just gonna free line him out just like that. And see what happens to him. Oh, gosh, that didn't take long. What? He's still on there. He's still on there. Gotta get this up. Gotta get it up. Gotta get it up. He'll be there. Yeah, he's there. All right, we got him. Oof. We got it, whatever it is. Let me get this other line up too. Why do I still have that one out? Oh, it's a big shark. That's what it is. It's a spinner shark or something. Oh, I'm about to have a mess. Out. All right. Yeah. All right, now this is the proper setup for a shark. Uh, oh boy. Oh gosh, he's swimming at me. Man. Uh. Come on, baby. Oh gosh, he's right at me. Right at me. Oh gosh. It's a good size shark. What are you? Uh, gosh, there's a crab right there. Yo. Oh, there went that shark. All right, that's fine. That's kind of what we wanted because uh, we didn't want a shark. He cut me off on the loop. That's fine. Come out. Put the, so you got the pogey right there. Some people call them Menhaden. All right. Um, I think that's a proper name is Menhaden. Up north, they call it a bunker. Down here in the south, we call it a pogey. Let's toss this guy right over here. Man, something's cooling off through him. All right. This is fun. <laughs> there we go. Good gracious. Oh, my gosh. Something 
looking good on the mud minnow. What do we got? Okay, we gotta go around this buoy. We gotta go around this buoy. There we go. Alright, we made it. I think we made it. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Hopefully I'm recording. It is. It's a fast shark. Uh, let's put a little more pressure on him since we know it's a shark. Uh, what shark is it? Goodness, these waves, too. Uh, uh, yeah, it's about a five footer. Uh, Hey, you hook perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Hit the front of the boat. All right, we got him. Hit this bail just in case. Man, look at that guy. That's the biggest shark on the kayak so far. Man, let's get him back. I don't know what he is, but let's go. Yes. <laughs> Catching big fish, baby. Catching big fish. There's a bunch of them out here. I gotta make a snatch rig. What do I gotta do? Because that's, I, I gotta match the hatch. Well, well, there we go. There's that. Or this one. We're gonna match the hatch though. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got it. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Uh, what have we got? What do we got? He doesn't like being hooked. Whatever we got. Ooh, turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Oh, we got it. it feels like a short. It is a short. Oh gosh. Oh, well, he broke that one. Okay, hooking up this, uh, it's like a probably half ounce weight, maybe three quarter ounce weight right there. We're gonna tie it right to this treble. As you can see, we just went over a pile of bait. We're gonna let this thing go straight down underneath him and start jigging as hard as we can. Try to just snag some bait. That's all we're trying to do out here, guys. There we go. There we go. Stay pinned. I've snagged about four of them and they've all come unpinned. That's what we want right there. Get them an open mouth because that hasn't even been lasting long enough to worry about it. Alright, we're going to put this guy in the rod holder. And keep snatching while we wait. Hey you. We're already hooked up. Get on the back. There he is. Right there. Alright. Alright. Get this guy back in the rod order back here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh gosh. Big one. He is burning. This is big, whatever it is. Oof. Oof. This is the big one. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we gotta tighten the drag a little bit. I still see, man, there's some big fish swimming around. Four or five foot sharks everywhere, man. Uh, is that what this is? Could be. Could be something better. We're going with him. Oh, it looks like a oh a shark. Well, all right. I didn't have another pogey. 
So I'm just going to drop this mullet right here down, this little finger mullet. Um, maybe it's a good size bull red or something down below. We're going to take this guy, we're going to cast him right in the middle of it. And let him kind of sit there. We can always snatch another pokey here in a minute. But let's go ahead and toss that guy right out there. Alright, let him sink straight down. And see what we got on the bottom side of all this. Oh, I think I just got eight. Yep, I think I just got eight. Oh. What is it? What is it? It's a shark. It's definitely a shark. It's definitely a shark. Oh, yep, definitely a shark. 100% a shark. Well, I don't think I snatched took a bait fish. I think I snatched me a, a much bigger fish on accident. Um, was not the intention. But the consequence of uh, being where I am. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, it's a good size shark. Or did he eat it? And I must have snatched him right in the front of the front of the body it's a good size shark look at that drag peel man he is just a ripping all right for those that are wanting to know <laughs> if there is a shark shortage i will always repeat myself on this there is not a shark shortage not here in northeast florida at least we gotta get this guy unhooked Oop, he's hooked by the pectoral fin Well, there he goes. It was not my intention to leave a hook in you. Uh -uh. I don't know if y'all can see that. Shark was just following my pogey all the way up here. That's not what I want. There's something. Yeah. Very shark esque. He's peeling some drag. He's a good size shark. Getting lucky. That's what we're doing. Oh. On the other side. All right, there he is. Oof. Oh. Oh. Mm. Two. Ah. Ah. There he is. What are you, bud? It's like a smooth tooth or a spinner, huh? Got your hook perfectly. In the corner of the mouth. All right, let's open this bale. Right. Oh, that's a good size shark right there, y'all. Look at them teeth. Oh. Come on, come on. It's got that barb right there. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, nope, let go. It's out. I let go. All right. We're gonna get a good look at this guy. Got a little lice on him. Look at him. Nice, probably four and a half, five foot shark. Let's get you back, bud. I appreciate it. He's cool. Whew. Goodness. All right, just hooked up on something on the mullet. Let's see what it is. Oof, he's coming right at me. I can't. Need to tighten up the drag a little bit. Oh, looks like a little shark. Of course. It's a day of sharks. Oh, he's a little cute fella. Huh? It's a cute little fella. Come here, buddy. Come on, bud bro. Got something back here. I was just dragging this guy on the jig head. 
This is a better fish. Don't be a shark. Don't be a shark. Don't be a shark. And it's a shark. Yo, I cannot get away from these guys today. Ooh, it's a bigger shark. He's trying to eat him? No. No. Oh. Uh, that's an Atlantic sharp nose following him. I'll take him home. Maybe right now. Gosh. He's what was he doing? He's biting the weight. Alright. That's an Atlantic sharp nose too. It's a baby one, but shark. Looks like a shark. I think it's a shark. Hope it's not a shark. <laughs> Got a lot of sharks today. And it is a shark. Send him on his way. A little spinner or something. He jumped out of the water. Yeah, that's definitely a little shark. Oh. The green spinner shark. number on yourself didn't you yeah. all right as you can see in that video right there i'm talking about sharks man sharks they just seem to be everywhere this year i don't know what the deal is it just seems to be more and more and more of them i've been out several times on a boat where it's as much as we want to catch them we catch them over and over again and they just never stop and i you keep seeing reports all up and down the state where they're just everywhere and so i know eventually we got to do something about it what the answer is i don't know i'm probably going to start keeping a shark every time i go out and catch some but please like and subscribe if you like the content anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video again hopefully everybody's safe everybody's good wherever you're at um prayers up for the people in the, the big bend area got a few other videos going to be coming out here pretty soon so until next time peace out